presentation is extremely punny, so <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> All right, well, my name is Levi, and I'm going to be talking to you today about how hydraulic fracturing is uh, causing man made seismic activity, aka earthquakes. <laughs> and it's just a safe, shaky situation. <laughs> so, fracking, what do we already know about fracking? Well, first of all, we know that it's an invasive oil extraction process that fractures the shale rock underneath the earth. And uh, along with the oil that it's producing, it's uh, producing highly toxic waste. Uh, this waste is, uh, causes health problems for residents around the proximity of the fracking sites. And it also contaminates local water. So people like Bob can light their hose water on fire. <laughs> But we know that it contaminates water, and we know that it causes health issues, but what don't we know? Well, what we don't know is that it causes man-made earthquakes. Scientists are beginning to find out this, this uh, in places like Ohio. There's a lot of fracking zones in Ohio, and uh, in 2011, they noticed that there was a 4.0 earthquake, and it was very close to a fracking site. Uh, they were kind of concerned with this because it wasn't the first of its kind, uh, but it was the largest. So after doing a little bit of research, they, felt, uh, they found out that it was in fact li linked to fracking, but not to the fracturing of the shale, as you might think, it's actually due to the disposal wells. And as you can see, we have a disposal well over here, and about a kilometer away, we have the epicenter of the earthquake. So what the frack is going on? <laughs> so, first of all, I should explain what a disposal well is. It's a, it's a big hole about a kilometer deep that they put all the wastewater into. And uh, it can hold 4.5 million gallons of this chemically laced water. Uh, what this water does is once it's in this hole, it acts like a lubricant of sorts. And it causes the shifting of these plates. Picture an air hockey table. If you were to put a puck on an air hockey table and unplug it so there's no air flowing, you tilt it, the puck's not going to move. However, once you plug it in and the air is flowing, you tilt it, the puck's going to slide. That's because there's no friction. And by adding the water, it's the same concept. You're lessening the friction and it's causing these plates to shift. The research has found that these earthquakes generally occur within about 500 meters of these disposal well sites. And, unfortunately, the more water you add, the stronger the quakes get. Oklahoma has also experienced similar issues. In fact, uh, they have 30,000 well sites because they keep having to make more. Every time they frack and they fill one up, they got to make another. So now Oklahoma is at risk by the U.S. Geological Survey for a 5.0 uh, 5 magnitude earthquake or higher um, and it's the first state to ever have this happen east of the Rocky Mountains, which is a big deal. Uh, in the first three months of 2014, they had more earthquakes in California, which is incredible because California is right along San Andreas Fault and has uh, the most earthquakes generally in our, in our country. And they had a 50% increase of 3.0 or higher earthquakes in the past eight months. And as you can see, well, it's kind of hard to see here, but right where this is, was a 5.6 magnitude earthquake in uh, central Oklahoma. Right here is a frac site, right here is a frac site, all within a kilometer. Right here, two kilometers out, another frac site. Coincidence that there was an earthquake? I think not. And people blame Mother Nature, but it's not Mother Nature's fault, mine. And <laughs> <laughs> as you can see here, there's serious earthquake hazards in these spots, right? The New Madrid Fault, San Andreas Fault, but Oklahoma and Ohio aren't along any fault lines. So why are they having all this earthquake danger? Well, because we're creating the earthquake danger. Imagine if we had the same amount of uh, well sites in, uh, in California or Washington as we did in Oklahoma. Imagine the intensity of those earthquakes. Industries do claim that there's solutions to this issue that we can somehow quell these earthquakes. But it's important to remember uh, that fracking still contaminates our water supply, leads to health issues, 
And ultimately, we're still extracting fossil fuels, which we're going to be burning, emitting CO2 into our atmosphere and furthering climate change. So guys, the bottom line of all this is that fracking is a lose-lose for everyone. And like Joel said, it's important that we all do what we can to stand up against fracking. Thank you very much.